asked to do um, the best of album, which finally turned out to be Memories of a Time to Come, we from the very first moment decided that um, every album in our career had to be um, connected to this best of album and um, therefore we uh, decided to do a sort of chronological album but not in a chronological order. Um, we took songs from each and every album and basically decided on the ones which we um, consider to be very special and uh, probably even unique in terms of Blind Guardian and um, since we have quite a bunch of different tunings in the band. Um, there is a high mixture of definitely different sounding songs on the album. Uh, to me, Memories of a Time to Come is a kind of mix between a uh, collector's item for old Blind Guardian fans and introductional package for, for new ones, because obviously if you put together a, a best of collection, then this is the perfect chance for somebody that doesn't know Blind Guardian yet to get to know the band. And uh, on the other hand, it's also interesting for the fans that already have all the regular albums because all the songs are remixed, some are even re-recorded, so there's also new elements to discover. Um, when we decided to do this album, um, we did not realize how difficult it finally would be to um, come up with a definite selection satisfying the interest of everyone in the band. First, there was a sort of discussion in between the band members which songs to choose. And of course, there were different songs such as Time Stands Still, which finally did not end up on the album. We considered the importance of having each and every album involved as well as the um, simple fact that these songs were um, definite best of songs for the fans as well as a very important point to, to make the right selection. And then on the other hand, we of course needed to involve some songs which we uh, consider to be um, special and spectacular, such as uh, And Then With Silence, for example. <laughs> When we finally had a um, song listing together and uh, worked on the mixing, uh, we realized that it was very important as with a regular studio album to get a natural flow. And therefore we really tried out which songs uh, fitted best uh, together. And this is how we came up with the running order for the album. For us it has been very important to have a sort of uh, natural flow throughout the whole album and therefore it was necessary to remix especially the old stuff which done in the 80s did have a completely different sounding not only uh, composing wise but also uh, production and mixing wise and uh, this needed to be um, fixed and improved at the same time so that a song like Majesty for example would have the um, ability and quality to um, compete with a song like Sacred Words, for example. Mm, it was lots of work, but um, especially the remix, uh, remixes um, were done um, with the help of Charlie Bauer Find. Um, I mean, we, um, we go in the details, of course, but uh, the the basic sound setup uh, has to be done by him, so uh, for ourselves um, the work was decent. 